Hey guys, it's Steel Jan here. Well, hi guys, Steel Jan here. Hey, I'm going to do a review for you today on DFW Vapors e-liquid or juice called uh, Bacon Flavor. So uh, let's see how that turns out. But before I go there, first I have to answer the burning question that everyone wants to know. Hey, Steel Jan, what's in your kegerator? So let's see what's in my kegerator. <laughs> Very big head on that one, huh? <laughs> you know what it is, guys? It's diet ginger ale. Yeah, diet ginger ale. I'm on a diet. Yep, it really is. Diet ginger ale. Canada Dry. Diet ginger ale. Thank you, Canadians. I just put it in my kegerator and pressure it up. And it's great for uh, sipping while I'm watching TV in the evenings. But today I'm here to talk to you about um, vaping. I'm going to review for you this DFW Vapor uh, Bacon Flavor e-liquid in zero milligrams because I don't vape nicotine. So here's the deal. Everybody I've talked to now that I've talked into getting a PV, a personal vaporizer, an electronic cigarette. <laughs> has stopped smoking and so I'm just absolutely sold on these devices but I know when I was back when I was smoking years ago one thing was I was very afraid to quit because I was afraid I would gain a lot of weight and I did I gained a lot of weight after I quit smoking one thing that these personal vaporizers or e-cigarettes gives back to me is control over my munchies and they're better than cigarettes for dieting in my opinion for me because I can put so many different flavors in here. All I've gone through <laughs> a ton of the sweet flavors now. Uh, banana cream and, and vanilla and, and uh, caramel and just tons. And so now I'm trying some savory flavors. So for me, it's like when I'm dieting, you know, late night you get the munchies and stuff. Well, driving down the road, smell the fast food. Well, I just pull this out or uh, I pull out this one, the one that I made that I showed you on the previous videos making this. So today I'm reviewing DFW Vapors, dfwvapor.com bacon flavored e-liquid. I have really good things to say about this, so I'll show you how it vapes first. Now I'm burping diet ginger ale, sorry. excellent vapor production from this thing. It's just amazing. Oh, I ought to say that I'm reviewing something else too, but let me get that, that in a minute. Here's the other one. Here's my uh, homemade one. This would be equal to just any 510 atomizer. Excellent vapor. But the really cool thing about this is if you're hungry for bacon, this is bacon. It's thick in your mouth. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. It's delightful. It, it, you can take a bite of a pretzel and vape some of this vapor and you'd swear you're eating a piece of crispy bacon. It's hickory flavored. It's, it even feels salty. It's mapley, a little mapley, not, not overpowering mapley. Um, but as far as you want bacon, 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 as the little dog in the commercial says. Bacon, bacon, bacon. It's excellent. DFW Vapor. Now, let me tell you what I don't like about it. Because, you know, um, when you're vaping around other people, they generally can't even smell anything. Well, when I vape this bacon flavor liquid, it smells like bacon. The room starts smelling like bacon. I can swear I smelled bacon everywhere. <laughs> and what's even worse is that I have had to dedicate atomizers to it 
because I have found no way, no way to get the flavor out of the atomizer. Uh, it's bacon forever. I tried everything. I I washed them and <laughs> and ran tons of water down them and uh, I even soaked them in uh, propylene glycol overnight and then shot propylene glycol through them and still I put anything else on these these uh, two atomizers and bacon bacon bacon. <laughs> so um, I'm calling this my breakfast atomizer. <laughs> So if I want bacon, there's my bacon atomizers. But as far as anything else goes, they're great. Let me show you this thing, though. I should show you this on close-up. But this here, this is the Monster atomizer, the Monster 510 atomizer from Awesome Vapor. And I love this thing. Now this right here is the atomizer off of a standard uh, 510 this is the monster atomizer and what's so good about it is the the atomizer innards itself is like twice as big as normal and then the the cart is huge and I filled it up with 75 drops when I first tested it and counted them this will last I mean if you vaped constantly it would last you most of a day but the um, the thing I'll warn you about with this is that it makes the flavors intense intense so um, if you've uh, if you want uh, a way to vape on a standard 3.7 device like this one this is the awesome vapor ego uh, it's the same as the joy e-tech ego and there's one from twisted um, wicked totally wicked I can't ever remember totally wicked that's also the same device and and so this monster atomizer from Awesome Vapor I don't know if you can get them anywhere else but awesomevapor.com great I, I love them so and they've never given me anything for free so I'm not going there the, this thing just puts out megatons of vapor and megatons of flavor uh, some of the e-liquids that I had made up like oh I remember my bubblegum I made up my bubblegum e-liquid with um, Oh, I'll never remember it now. With my Joe Loran flavorings, <laughs> I made my bubblegum e-liquid with uh, Loran bubblegum flavor and uh, just a little bit of that and a ton of VG vegetable glycerin, and it was fine in a normal 510 atomizer. Well, I filled up one of these monster atomizers from Awesome Vapor, and it was just oh my God, the flavor was so that it was sickening awful. So I've had to tone down the e-liquids that I make or water down the ones, that, not water down, but put more vegetable glycerin in the ones I buy <laughs> so that I can tame the flavor a little bit. I don't know, I don't know about nicotine, but I would imagine, oh, no, I don't know about anything about the nicotine one. So somebody that's tried one of these monster atomizers can tell you if it makes the nicotine taste stronger. I can't imagine that it wouldn't though, since it, amplifies the flavor. Yeah, that puppy will go all day long. And uh, <laughs> that's why I'm sad that I bought two of these and I'm sad that I'm now having to dedicate one to bacon. But that's it. So yeah, if you want bacon, go to dfwvapor.com and get you some bacon e-liquid um, make sure you dedicate an atomizer to it and a, and a cartridge for filling cartridges. Um, that's it. So anyway, guys, until next time, this is Still Jan out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Uh, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Still Jan.